Hi everyone, this is Gary here from Victory Farm at Rooftop Malaysia. Now today I'm going to share with you about cocoa peat, whether is it pre-washed or washed. How do we know, you know, the quality of your cocoa peat? Yeah, so if let's say your cocoa peat if it's not washed, then you have salt content inside your cocoa peat. So how do we know actually we have salt content unless, you know, we take a bunch of cocoa peat you know, and put it inside your mouth and taste it. Or this one we don't recommend that. Or we will have another method, you know, by using this gadget called the TDS meter. Okay, the TDS meter is to be able to measure salt content or mineral content, you know, that is available or not. So this is what we want to do. First thing first is that we will take something like this container, just fill it with normal tap water. So this is what we're gonna do. So just fill in the tap water, the normal tap water. All right. So this normal tap water normally they will have some form of minerals inside because it's tap water. So when you have minerals you know, available, you will be able to trace something. So normally for tap water is around sixty ppm. Yeah. So right now you can see this is zero. All right. I yeah, can come closer. Yeah. So the moment I dip inside the water, can you see that? There we go, 67 or 61. Yeah, so there's some sort of mineral. But the important part is this, right now we are trying to measure whether we have salt content in the cocoa peat or not. So this is what we're gonna do. So let's off it. Now, what I'm gonna do right now is that you take a bunch of cocoa peat, you know, and just freshly buy, and then I just put it inside here. All right, just put it inside here. So as you can see, the cocoa peat is deep inside. So right now, what we're gonna do is that take the TDS meter again, and press it, and then you can see it's still zero. Ah, come closer and see it's still zero. Yeah. Okay. So right now, I'm gonna dip it and see how much reading do we have. Wow. Can you see that? Can you come closer? Yeah. Two thousand and six hundred, the highest. Okay. That is a very high concentration of salt content inside the cocoa peat itself. So what are we gonna do? So once we take this out, of course we're gonna rinse this first, uh, yeah. Just rinse it. All right. Make sure it's go back to zero. Okay. So the next thing is that with this one, together with a strainer or a sieve, yeah. If let's say you want to do it on a bigger, bigger scale, then you can use something like a mesh net. All right. So it's very simple. Just like any of the filters, you know, that we do, wash it, filter it. Just give them a good rinse. Yeah, we take a couple of minutes over here and see how much cocoa peat that you are washing, lah. Yeah. So of course, if you have a lot, then I would recommend that you use a a, a, a mesh net, you know, something that with fine holes. Yeah. So once you wash them clear, you know, especially when you wash out the salt content, uh, that will be actually the the best part. So later on, I will actually share with you. You know, if let's say you continue to use the cocoa peat that yeah, with salt content, what will happen to your seedlings? Later, I will show you how it works. Okay, let's give them a good wash over here. All right. So same thing over here. We will have this container, the same container, just fill in with the same tap water, yeah. All right. Now again, I will show you the same tap water, yeah, the measurement, ah, the same tap water. Sixty, right? All right. Okay, so. Right now, I will put in the wash content, ah, uh, wash the uh, uh, cocoa peat, and see how much of this ah uh, salt content is available still. Okay, let me just ah uh, give this over here, just wash it. All right. So right now you can see it's still zero, ah. Uh. Let's see. There we go. From two thousand has reduced down to ninety. Okay, so we have actually washed out a lot of salt from the cocoa peat itself. Can you see that? Just now the reading was two thousand plus. Right now it's ninety. So this is very important. When you have cocoa peat with salt content, this will happen with your seedlings. Can you see that clear? All right, it's turning white. It's turning white. But when you have a pre-washed cocoa peat, good quality pre-washed cocoa peat, this will be the effect. Can you see that? This is how we grow seedlings by using cocoa peat. Okay, so this will be my sharing today. So if you have bought cocoa peat, make sure it's good quality and already washed. 
Thank you very much. My name is Gary. I'm the founder of Victory Farm at Rooftop Malaysia. Thank you for watching.